Terrific. Uh, Caroline, I started off this morning by noting that uh, Eugene Meyer at an earlier uh, session with Carl had kind of endorsed the basic thrust of law.gov to make the law publicly available by making it uh, easily accessible and, and noted that this may be one of the only issues that you and the head of the Federal Society agree on. I'm not no, sure not. that's true, but there may be one or two others. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, on a serious note, how fundamental is this to actual uh, law reform from your perspective? Is this a tertiary issue for techies only, or do you see this as really being an, an important part of the way the American Constitution Society mm -hmm. sees uh, the development uh, of justice, really, in the society? Well, John, um, first, um, thank you for the nice introduction. Um, and I'd like to also thank Carl for thinking of including us. Um, I do think this is fundamentally an extremely important project um, for the American Constitution Society, but obviously much more importantly for our nation. Uh, you know, actually, when I first um, heard about the project, I, I sort of scratched my head and I thought, well, why didn't we think of this before? Why, why, was, why isn't this already the case? It's sort of... And as I've talked to people um, subsequently, including my husband last night driving home, talking about the event uh, you're, you're holding here today, and he said, what? That's crazy. And it is, it is really, it's so uh, self-evident that this is something that we should have already in a democracy that I, it's a real um, testament uh, to Carl and to others who've been engaged in this, of pushing it forward, because I think as we bring it out to a broader public, um, they will also think that this is self-evident and what we are absolutely entitled to in a democracy. And let me just say, um, I don't know, there may be something else that, I, that, uh, that the American Constitution Society and the Federalist Society agree on, but I think it's, <laughs> um, it's a pretty good indication of how broad and, and widespread the agreement is that uh, such a change in how our government provides information is of a, of a fundamental nature. Um, and let me just say, so that the American Constitution Society functions as a network of lawyers and law students and scholars, policymakers and judges who believe in the vitality of the Constitution and the fundamental values it expresses, individual rights and liberties, genuine equality, access to justice, democracy, and the rule of law. And access to information is, is seen as, is characterized as a basic human right because it precedes the exercise of all of these other rights. And then the ability to learn about and share information about our laws is really a condition precedent to the fulfillment of each of the principles that I mentioned that are the component of the ACS mission. That is individual rights and liberties, equality, access to justice, democracy and rule of law. None of these can really be achieved without governments making the law available to everyone for review. So I think, you know, it is, it is not just something that I think is a great idea or that American Constitution Society would, would benefit from because we are made up of lawyers and law students and law professors and judges who could obviously use this. But it is, I think, a, a central way of, of actually achieving the mission that, um, that we believe so deeply in. Um, you've worked on the Hill You've worked in the White House. Now you've you know worked in NGOs. How do we make that happen? How do you how what, as a practical matter? This is an extraordinarily complicated set of actors who uh, are uh, at either if you think of it part of the problem or part mm -hmm. of the solution. It's not just the mm -hmm. it, you know the 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 federal government, the states, the counties, the municipal. Uh, 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 entities that that are involved in creating the law. What what's a sort of practical way for moving Carl's mm -hmm. project forward? Well, you know, I, th with Paul. I think um, it's an extremely good question. I think the workshops that are being held already are uh, a key component because it's very hard, um, John, as you know better than anybody, to actually make any changes in in the way the government does business, pass legislation, uh, uh, regulations, etc., without actually having some part of the public who's engaged uh, in that area. Um, and I think the engaging the broader public in a discussion about um, what, again, I think people will think is, is something they should have already had, um, I think is, is, a, is a key part of this. And so continuing the discussion and continuing to have the discussions with people on the Hill, um, with, with people in the, in, the, in the judicial system. I know Carl had told me he's going to meet with the Ninth Circuit. 
um, engaging the judges, engaging uh, law professors. And I think the other anecdote that was really very meaningful to me um, was this morning um, discussing the PACER uh, system and how law schools are uh, are discontinuing access for students or not allowing them in the first place because of the cost. And the idea that our law schools think that students, you know, that, that you're not allowing students access to the cases um, in, in a user-friendly format is, is incredible. I mean, that is really, a, a, it, it's a loss to our entire society that students come out um, less well-educated. Um, the process is complicated, but I think that's another area where um, uh, you know, engaging the, the, the students and the professors who are actually m using this data all the time to start engaging in a more public way.